evening, everyone, and welcome to Team Awful Neutral trying to get through Curse of Strahd without dying. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> so, how are my players feeling tonight? Yay! <laughs> <laughs> Very enthusiastic. Yay! <laughs> That's the way to be. I'm oh. sobbing internally, what? <laughs> <laughs> sobbing eternally. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Well, if you, to be fair, if you weren't sobbing, I wouldn't be doing my job properly. So that's fair. <laughs> You've already made me cry once at D&D. &D. Don't do it again. <laughs> oh, well, that's my night ruined. I don't really know what I'm doing now tonight. <laughs> oh, damn, I guess that's it. Stream over. Sorry. Bye, guys. Bye, everybody. <laughs> um, Bye. So, last week, um, um, the players managed to get their way out of Castle Ravenloft, which I actually genuinely didn't expect with how they were doing. <laughs> um, <laughs> and Thank then, you for your confidence. Yeah, <laughs> I don't know. It was, it was, it was. Um, there was a lot of dangers between Strahd's study and his door, but you managed to get past them. Eight gargoyles, four red dragon wormlings, a giant green slime, and something that's now following you. Oh, yeah, I thought it. we stopped it from following us. Yeah, technically we haven't got past all the creatures yet if it's following us. Oh god. I mean, <laughs> you're not wrong. <laughs> I wish I was. <clears throat> but I think, I believe our exhausted party decided they were going to head towards um, Madame Eva at the Sarah Paul encampment. They managed to head their way south and cross, cross the... Um, can't remember the name of the river now, but they managed to cross the river, get across the bridge, and set up camp for the evening. Yes. Yes, despite all of our uh, terrible, terrible talent, we have managed to get across the river and camp. Which That's is called talent? Absolutely Somewhere. fantastic, because I, I believe a lot of you were running quite um, low. Low. Hmm. So you have all managed a long rest. Um, you begin coming to just as kind of the morning begins to dawn. You've s slept probably slightly longer. You were luckily kept quite contained in um, the lovely little hut, Leoman's tiny hut mm -hmm. that um, Leoman's tiny hut that was made for <laughs> you by your lovely bard. And at this point, it was that. Yeah, that I'm lovely. Sometimes. <laughs> you are. The DM likes yeah, you for now. Time. You got inspiration last week. That's how much the DM likes you at the moment. Um, Yay. So, and at this point it was that Theron discovered exactly what it was he had in his possession. As the sun sword came to life and illuminated the entire hut with its light. And for the first time since they arrived in Barovia, the party encountered actual daylight. Yay. <laughs> And Theron felt pretty good with himself. As we get into it today, the party are waking up, dealing with the light, and I will let you begin there. Essentially, you've all just been pretty much blinded by the sun sword. Yay, sun sword! The hut falls down from around <laughs> you. Um, opening up into the forest which is immediately illuminated to the point where you can all see very clearly for about 30 feet around you um, 15 feet of very bright light about 15 feet more of kind of dimmer light but it's sunlight which is impressive okay it wasn't really this time what the hell that is rather bright I will try to lower the intensity of the light. Theron kind of holds the hilt of the blade up kind of nearer his face and kind of whip he seems to be focusing on it and after a couple of seconds the light begins to kind of encroach a little bit. It all gets a little bit dimmer. Um, the bright light hitting you all in the face kind of fades, light fades a little bit and clo closes in on him. It's only about 10 feet of bright light now and then about Still 15 feet coming out of there, a dim light, but it's a lot dimmer. 
Sorry, I just wanted to see what it did. And it wanted to show off too. Of course it did. Well, um, now that that's out of the way, how about we keep going? Which way are we going, though? I don't um, know. What, what can you hear, Sorry, Can you... What do your bat ears hear? Right? <clears throat> what do <laughs> your ears <laughs> going to say that? <laughs> <laughs> um... Sorry, I'm learning my new character sheet. Perception, okay. <clears throat> 21. What are you looking for exactly, or are you just in general? listening out mainly to hear the footsteps more than anything I guess you can hear some movements in the forest um, it's difficult to tell exactly where from there are st you get the feeling that there are a lot of creatures in this forest surrounding you there's a lot of movement going on but you do get the feeling that pretty much everything near you seems to be staying away from the light you're not entirely sure if the thing that's following you is one of these things or if there's just some wolves around or some other kind of creatures in the forest you know from your tracking skills as you approach this um resting point that there were scratches and stuff around on trees Ooh. there are a lot of stuff but nothing seems to be approaching us right now probably just wildlife Well, um, as much fun as approaching wildlife is, uh, perhaps we should keep going? I think we were going to find Madame Eva. Oh, yes, we could go see Madame Eva. Well, which way is that? East, I guess. Great, I'm afraid I've left my compass in my other library. <laughs> It's dawn. What way does the sun rise from, librarian? Don't get smart with me. <laughs> I walk in the direction of the sun. <laughs> <laughs> Bird feels very proud of himself and follows after. <laughs> Theron just... I don't know. Theron's confidence seems to have gone through the roof. Because I have a sun sword. <laughs> Uh, just to clarify, I don't walk into the sword. I follow the direction of the actual sun. <laughs> just, just Theron keeps turning in a circle and Amara just keeps walking around him towards God the sword. God damn it! <laughs> it's a real issue when you have to play a smarty pants and you feel like a complete dimwit today. <laughs> um, it should be noted, Theron, that you can dismiss the blade if you want to. Okay, I'll keep it out for now. Okay. Um, yeah, you head east without much problems. Theron, as you're going along, you kind of keep hearing, listening out. It's kind of one of the things you specialise in even before you had giant bat ears. Um, ah. You get about, i say, half a mile before Amara begins to choke. <coughs> oh. And Amara's heart Shit. stops. <coughs> Amara, I can the you... Sunlight. Amara, can you roll me a um, death saving throw, please? Oh, oh uh, How do I do that in 5th edition again? Uh, just a d20. If it's above 10, it's a pass. Oh Shit. dear. Amara fails. Right, you all get one action before she rolls again. Oh, shit, I forgot about that. I drop the sun sword, bring out a normal sword, and light it up with electric energy. That's a bonus action, so I suppose I can then touch the blade to her? Yep, roll me some damage. I hope you guys realise I don't have an alternative character right now. <laughs> That's the ride of the storm. No, full attack. I'll try that. Okay. <laughs> Just the damage bit, not the actual hit. You you definitely hit her. She's letting you. She's you know she's dead. <laughs> but fifteen. 
What's your constitution, yeah. Amara? My constitution is 12. He he kind of draws the sword across his palm. The sword begins crackling with lightning energy and he just kind of very gently hits you with the back of it. And there's a surge, almost like a defibrillator, go poof, through your body and you cough and your eyes open. <coughs> oh. oh, my hair's fried again. Well, at least your heart's working. Yes, there is that. Now I will stretch out a hand to pick her up. I will take the hand and get up. Off the floor, do I take four damage? No, the damage is to... The damage is essentially like... The damage is essentially like a counter to what you need to get your heart started. So it's oh, not... Okay. <clears throat> it's more like... Almost like healing, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> That's fine. Okay. We need to remember <sighs> to do that every morning, I guess. <clears throat> as much as I'd really rather not have to, I think you might be right. You know it's going to be a good day when you've already had to roll death saving throws less than ten minutes into the game. <clears throat> Yay! Hell yeah. Okay. Are you just going to continue after that then? Yep. <laughs> I guess so. <laughs> yes. Yep. Yep. Mara's Stop been trying not to make a big deal of this. You know, just chill. <laughs> it's happened like three or four times now. You think she'd <laughs> learn to remember it by now? Yeah. Oops. It's only been three or four times. <laughs> she couldn't remember which direction the sun rose in. <laughs> yeah, give her a chance. A she just got out day. of bed. <laughs> Mara's having a terrible day. Okay. You find yourself coming into the western entrance of the Sir Paul encampment. Um, most of you have been here before. Um, Lenara, you won't recognise this place. You've never been here. Are we, have we arrived? Please tell me this is the place we were looking for. Yeah, this is it. That, and I'll point to the big ass hut, is Madame Eva's hut. <sighs> yes. <sighs> that. You'll notice that, well, uh... um, last time, there was like, it was around, it was loads of people here, they were having parties and everything. This time, you don't seem to see anyone. The fire is still burning, so there are obviously people around here somewhere. Hello? <laughs> Morning. <laughs> Sorry. Well, welcome back, back. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> welcome back. I hope you're okay from your power cup during a horror campaign. Um. <laughs> I'm fine, I have a cookie here, it's all good. <laughs> For the people okay. watching, I don't know if you can see it on this chat very well, on the on the roll screen very well, but essentially our monk just had an, a real-life power cut in the middle of a horror campaign. <laughs> <laughs> and it happened right after the electrocution? Because that would have been perfect. That would have no. been really awkward. Sadly <laughs> not, no. If you can have someone in the background that yells, it's alive, that would also be good. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. <laughs> okay, so yeah. uh, Amara continues looking around and casually and carefully going, Hello. I'm gonna stealth and stay in the tree line. I Anyone would like to cast uh actually sorry, what is the range? Oh. Okay. No, forget it. I was going to cast Detect Thoughts, but it only detects things within 30 feet. And... Uh, yeah. I'm going to head over towards Madame Eva's hut. Okay. Tent. Thing. Sort of poke my head in the door, kind of. Like, hello. Lenora might follow her. 
<clears throat> I just stayed in the tree line, stealth thing, walking along. Yeah, I noticed your um, I noticed your stealth roll. Okay. Yay. Um, can you roll me a dexterity saving throw, please, Amara? Oh dear. That doesn't sound like fun. She's throwing her toothbrush at you. <laughs> <laughs> Please tell me that actually happened. I rolled a 10 to be dexterous. One second. <laughs> oh. Shit. <laughs> you take six damage as a dagger sinks itself into your arm. This Ow! Ah! It doesn't Hello? seem to have come from a person. It seems to have flown through the air. Ow, 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 ow. Is it still in my arm? Yeah. <laughs> Lenora's just sort of looking at the dagger in Amara and then sort of looking back into the tent and then back at the dagger and trying to figure out what the fuck just happened. <laughs> <clears throat> As you... Roll me a perception. I probably should have rolled a perception in the first place. Might have been an idea. <laughs> One of those things. Well, I was carefully looking in the tent. Just didn't expect to be carefully stabbed in the arm. No, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> Do you want me to roll a perception as well? Yeah, if you want to. Yeah. Okay. Um. Yeah. Essentially, what you'll notice, Amara doesn't really. Amara rolled two. Yeah, because my button uh, didn't oh, okay. react. So please take the first one. Yeah, that's absolutely fine. Um, essentially, <laughs> as you you realise that you don't you don't see it at first, Lenara, you'll notice it. There is a small, very thin piece of fishing wire going across the door that Amara has now broken. Is this dagger still in my arm? Yeah, it's a dagger that sank into your arm. Okay, I would I would like to potentially pull that out of my arm. Actually, first, I'm going to look around for a bandage. That's fair. Uh, I might have one. Because, <laughs> believe it or not, the work. librarian didn't think to pack first aid. Though she did pack a bottle of ink and an ink pen, guys, so we're okay. <laughs> I have two daggers. You could treat your dagger with a dagger. <laughs> <laughs> I heard you like daggers. So I put a dagger in your dagger so you can dagger while you dagger. <laughs> Um, <laughs> uh, yeah, no. I've got some rope I can use as a tourniquet. No, I think we'll um, oh, just wow. have to leave the librarian yeah. clutching her arm rather than healing it. Although you can look around the tent, I suppose. I'm just going to yeah. look around for a piece of scrap fabric or something I can rip. As she sort of moves forward, the Nara kind of throws her arm out and then just sort of like nods to the wire. You might want to be careful. <laughs> Booby traps a tent! As she says this, flames show up in several different places in the room. They're all in braziers, so they're all contained, but they all spring oh, to life that. suddenly. <laughs> yeah, no, this isn't Lenara's normal <laughs> set of <everything> fire. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, <laughs> her hands up. But as these, flames, as these flames suddenly spring to life, the entire tent is kind of cast in a bit of a red glow. Um, in the middle of the table is a... In the middle of the table, in the middle of the tent is a low table that is covered in a decorative uh, black velvet cloth. There are a few glints of light that you that you immediately catch your eye as a crystal ball is in the centre of this table. And shaking her finger, sitting almost... Uh, kneeling, I guess, on one side of the table, is shaking shaking her finger just... Oh, you, you all... Um, should not have snuck in like that. I wasn't trying to sneak in, I was saying hello! You didn't actually open your mouth, dear. What are you on about? She did say hello, didn't she? Yeah, yeah several right, times. The area. I've been saying hello for like around the area a lot. <laughs> I walked up to the door going, hello! <laughs> and I came to retract my previous statement. <laughs> <laughs> I'm cautiously heading towards the other entrance, by the way. 
Oh, is this what you're drawing on my map? <laughs> I was just... Yeah. yeah. Okay, if... Um, <laughs> if at some point that um, becomes a thing, I'll let you know. Um, okay. She, tur- she, she laughs as she says that and goes, Oh, these old ears are not what they always were. I am very sorry, but I am the only one here and have to take precautions. Why are you the only one here? Oh, Lenara. It has been a rough few weeks. Yet we gave up asking how. (laughs) Do you have a bandage? I could use a bandage. She kind of looks around a little bit, looks a bit confused, and then looks up to her head where she's got several wraps. Unwraps one of them. <laughs> and she holds, she holds it up and it kind of floats its way over to you. Thank you. I'm going to just take it and then move over to the side and attempt to remove the dagger and bandage my arm extraordinarily tightly like I've read in many books. She nods. So what brings you to me? Well, do you want the whole story or sort of a condensed blurb? Oh, but I know you... I know most of your story. I just wonder what brings you here. Especially since you've just been to Ravenloft. Amari oh, quite That sorry. was a medicine check to attempt to do this shit. <laughs> <laughs> I've rolled a natural one. Well bored. <laughs> <laughs> It really isn't my day, guys. You <laughs> literally have funny. no idea. <laughs> Honestly. <laughs> but yeah, Madame Eva goes, um, I know the most of the story, but I am not sure why you have come here since you've been to Ravenloft. Well, the chick kind of hit the fan, and I never met you with the rest of the... Not the part... Oh, Jesus fucking... I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> <laughs> I never, I never met you with the rest of my friends. Maybe she called us her friends. Oh my God. Shh. Oh, Ray, are you the with me? Pyro monster's heart grew through. No, Ray's with me. She did a medicine oh. check. She did a medicine check to yeah, help what, my that, arm. That's what I just said. Is she with you and uh, Lenara? Because I didn't hear that. Uh, yeah, that's she's... what I'm guessing. Sadly, I've just been connecting in and out. I've been trying to talk, but it won't let me because my pings are like over 6,000, so it keeps disconnecting oh, me. We can hear um, you now, though. So yeah, so, so I am talking, but I don't know if you guys can hear me. Yeah, we can hear you. <laughs> so I'm, I'm with the guys in the tent, if that's okay. Um, As far as you can tell, her wound is not that serious. Um, The way she's wrapped it is actually pretty good. Are you kidding? I rolled a one. <laughs> <laughs> you rolled a one to... Well, yeah, but that's not about wrapping the thing. That's about how knowing how well it is. Oh, okay. How well damaged it is. <clears throat> that's fair. You're very good, but you think your arm is falling off. <laughs> yeah, you have no idea how damaged your arm is, but you have the feeling that you've done a good job wrapping it. Yay. Thanks, Ray. We're not dragging a dying warrior into battle because we're convinced he is too healthy. <laughs> <laughs> Madam Eva kind of almost nods knowingly and goes, I have known of groups of adventurers who have done such things. There was this group in Fandolin that were notorious for doing stupid things, but in for good reasons, usually. <laughs> We're nothing like them. <laughs> what was their name? No. Team Awful Neutral? Uh. Shaft. Uh. Team Shaft. Shaft. That was Team Shaft. You're Team Awful Neutral. Yay. Because uh. Team Shaft were generally quite good people. Mm. I'm so sorry that name stuck. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry you no, said it in not. front of NPCs. Ah. <laughs> uh. uh. So what is it you want from me, exactly? What can I do to help you? You seem to have helped us so far. Maybe some guidance? Where is... 
Wait, where is... <sighs> Where's Bat Boy? I'm sorry? You mean Saren? <laughs> yes, that's the one. Sorry. It's been a rough <laughs> morning, okay? <laughs> so far, I've been stabbed, and I forgot which way east was. <laughs> I don't remember him being with us when we entered the village. Should I go out and look for him, just in case? I suppose, but I'm fairly sure he was the reason we came all this way. God's sakes, I'm right here. I'll just step oh into the tent. Oh my goodness! Theron <laughs> um, kind of enters from the back. He kind of dips his head under the side of the tent, and he's been, like, listening for a while. As he comes in, um, he kind of... He steps under and notices that although there's things hanging from the ceiling almost everywhere in this tent, there's been almost a perfect path left exactly where he is. Theron! <laughs> I think really? I may have a heart condition. Can you please not sneak up on me like that? Jeez. Fucking it seems to help, actually. <sighs> Doesn't feel Reading. like it helps. Without, Greetings again, Madam Eva. Like, literally without even looking over her shoulder, she kind of points a finger over her, over at Theron and goes, You do not need to sneak in. Although I suppose it served you better than it served Amara. Please, come in. Come in properly. <laughs> I'm just going to look, like, oh, really embarrassed. <laughs> <laughs> the reason we're here is we've heard tales that perhaps some of the Vistani might have Serena? Irina. Irina. She's only one of Irina. the main characters in this campaign. <laughs> <laughs> so look, yeah. Her name sounds like the chick from Underworld, and she looks like the chick from Underworld. <laughs> Who's, whose the name is Celine? That isn't called Serena. <laughs> that's Celine. Yeah. I mean, that's a tennis player. Uh, yeah. William. <laughs> yep. I need to just check myself out of this one. Yeah. <laughs> and also say la moon. <laughs> I... <laughs> she kind of... She kind of puts one hand on the crystal ball and ponders for a moment. She stares into it. Nothing seems to happen. No one seems to move. She doesn't even seem to be breathing as she does this. And then she shakes her head. The Vistani may have had her, but it's none from my camp. If they did take her, they should have been taking her to him. Drad. But he knew nothing about this. He seemed rather distraught that she'd gone missing. In that case, it may be a rogue band of my people who may be wishing to take her somewhere else. Somewhere safer. Oh, great. So she could be anywhere by now. That's good news, at least. She isn't being taken to Strad. Well, you know, unless they decide that somewhere safer is to kill her entirely. I believe what? he would know if she was dead. <clears throat> yes, I suppose he would. He does have yeah. that creepy stalker vibe. Do you wish <laughs> for me to find this woman? You good. could do that? Oh, that would be wonderful. I, of course, will require payment. Find a payment. I would require an anchor for my spell. The blood from each of you shall do. Blood? A small amount. Nothing that would cause you harm. I wish to inside check her. <laughs> Go for it. I wish to Arcana to see if there is anything bad someone can do if they have even a small <laughs> amount of blood. <laughs> oh, how many ways do you want to describe? <laughs> do I try to wanna... No. <laughs> no, you already owe me one. I wouldn't risk it. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I, I want to roll to see. What do I want to see? I want to see if she's going to do bad juju with our blood. <laughs> Uh, that would be an arcana check. 
It would be either an it would be an arcana check, or if you're doing what Theron is doing, he's inciting to see if she's telling the truth. Uh, I'm gonna. I'll insight her as well if I can. Okay. Insight? Because I don't like the sound of this. Mm. <laughs> oh. You roll better than me. <laughs> I wish I'd rolled better on the thing you were rolling for. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, Lenara, which one's which? Can I choose? No. <laughs> no, because oh. it's different it's different stuff. <laughs> the first one was Arcana, the second one was um insight. insight. Um Ray, was yours an insight as well? Uh it was. Fantastic. <coughs> it was an insight. And Amara did both. Okay. Um I will say Linara. Mm-hmm. She seems to be telling the truth. That is what she plans to do with your blood. Um Amara, Amara, even with that, dark, people could do some dark shit with your blood. But to be honest, she's probably already got my blood on the knife that's hanging in her tent doorway. <laughs> <laughs> just, point. just saying. <laughs> yeah. Fair so, point. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, she seems to be telling the truth. I'd say, Theron, you, you probably are aware of that as well. Um, but yeah, Amara, you know that people can, if they have your blood... They have. Um, they can do it. Use it for all kinds of things. They can spy on you from a distance, long, long distance. They can do spells specifically targeted at you. They can use it as an anchor point for you. Which is exactly what she did say she was going to use it for for this spell. She was going to use you as an anchor. Hmm. Much do you want? A small amount, a few drops, even. She I takes out. my hand open. She, oh, Jesus Christ! Oh my God! She pulls out like. <laughs> A um, kind of like a shallow plate, almost like a soup plate, and puts it down next to her, next to her um, crystal ball. Bleed into the plate. I'm used to this. <laughs> I just like the idea that Ferenc like cut his hand and it's just like the bowl is already overflowed with his blood. <laughs> I'm not okay. So, Theron slices his hand, but to be fair, Theron is used to this. He, You've seen him cut himself every single morning, basically, whenever you've seen him been in close proximity to him. So he cuts himself, although it looks quite vicious the way he does it, blade down his hand, he only puts the slightest pressure. So there is only a small trickle of blood, but it was probably still more than Madden even needed. And he squeezes his hand into the plate a little bit. Ugh. I just casually take the knife off of the door and hand that over. <laughs> Art. Okay. There are still, I mean, there is still blood on it. For sure. I'll, uh, I'll take one of my darts and just, like, prick my finger. Yeah, that's all that's put it all... over the ball. Yeah, see, yeah. that would have been probably what Theron should have done. But yes, <laughs> that, a few drops, <laughs> a few drops splash into the bowl. Minara! Oh, her gauntlets, fingerless gauntlets. <laughs> they are no not, but. <laughs> I mean, the gauntlets only go up to about here. You, you, you'd be able to, like, roll up your sleeve a little bit and. Okay. Nick there. Um, she rolls up her sleeve and pulls out one of her daggers and sort of, as she holds her arm, over the bowl, she kind of goes with herself a bit because <laughs> someone doesn't think this is a good idea. Um, a, few, a few drops of blood splash into the basin, and once they're all in, Eva takes the knife from Amara and almost stirs it. She lifts up the mixed, the mixed blood, and puts a few dot drops of it on top of her crystal ball. The crystal ball seems the, the blood seems to pass through the crystal ball and float almost as if it's in water. Just gently trickling around the inside of this crystal ball. And then suddenly it begins to take shape. The blood spreads out and it becomes a shape you guys have seen many many times. Oh. It is the country of Barovia. 
Yay! I'm narrowing things down. <laughs> Definitely narrowing things down. And there is an area that the blood seems to not come anywhere near. This area is out to the west. It is an area that you were told about, but you've never actually seen a direction for yet. And okay. if I can find which marker it is, ever, eh, eh. Man, I need to get some sticky notes for this book. Mm. Okay. It's out kind of, it's out towards the west. It's not actually all that far from where Van Richten's tower is. Mm -hmm. hmm. It's about another half day to the west. If I pop you back on the large Barovian map, for a moment. I'm going to zoom that in a little bit for our viewers. A new section of the map will now be added. I'm going to reveal some stuff for you. Because Ooh. this map is almost identical to the one you're carrying around in your packs. But this area is not one that you've had any markings on before. As it opens up, the road mm. kind of continues to the west. Past Lake Baratok, where the tower lies. Mm and out where the letter S is in the middle of the Svalich Woods, which you're beginning to know pretty well. You've spent a lot of time in there. Out around here, you can see a marker for a village called Kresk. And almost as she's oh, doing okay. this, Amara, there's a glowing in your bag. Hmm? Your bag glows slightly. <clears throat> I'm going to look in my bag. What's in my bag? The map. <laughs> your town map is your, your town map. Your countrywide map is now reflecting what is what is shown essentially in the crystal ball. The marker that she just kind of showed you on the on the blood map has now kind of added itself to your map. There is a circle around the village of Kresk, and while the village was not map, marked on your map before, it and some of the clearings in the forest near it and the Raven River have all appeared on your map. Oh, well, that's rather neat. <coughs> Damn useful to me. I'm going to have to get this spell off you. <laughs> <laughs> I am afraid you are not of the right people to use it. Oh, Racism. That's such a shame. Just casual racism. <laughs> but that is where she is either being taken or has been taken. Well then, I guess we have a... Well, we know where she is then. I'm going to put the map back in one of the map cases I have. May we ask if you know this Kresk area, what it's known for? Oh, Kresk is well known for the Abbey of San Markovia. It is a large holy place. I've been told of that. Hmm. Okay. Thank you, Madam Eva. She bows her head. I could ask just one more question. Honestly. You happen you happen to have known any villages that were washed away by a river. <laughs> <laughs> she <clears throat> smiles a little. I'm well aware I've asked her this before, I'm doing it again, damn it. <laughs> you are seeking to understand one of the cards I drew for you, yes? Indeed. You want to know where the drowned village from my vision is? Yes. What did I tell you then, Taren? Can you remember? We would um, know in time. You would know when that time is right. 
Amara is going to sit there doing that sort of weird little told you so dance. <laughs> is the time right? <laughs> wow. Theron, when you have faced what haunts you, the time will be right. Ah. <laughs> Theron! I hope Smack I live him. through it then. <laughs> <laughs> Don't swear in front of Madam Eva. Well, not Theron. That's cool. <laughs> <laughs> It's I see no, now. because it wasn't any gritty <laughs> anymore. <laughs> she smiles and is just... There are other ways to discover this information, but for me, I require payment for all things. Your payment will be to defeat that which haunts you. If we'd defeat it, then I would. And I'm going to turn and leave. I feel the nerve was touched there. Oh, Lenara, you believe you are the only one with another being near you. <laughs> Amara's face is just going to be like, hmm? and she's going to start looking round herself. <laughs> <laughs> no. Warlocks have pacts with... <sighs> they, they... Let's not talk about them. Let us just hey, say Ray. that you are not as unique as you may have thought. Ray, it's not you, is it? Ray, is just... Lenora's gonna turn to Amara and just sort of look at her. <laughs> <laughs> Ray's just gonna um, get up, just pull a hood over her, just quietly say, uh, thank you, and just walk out. Ooh, mysterious. <laughs> As she kind of does that... Is it me? <laughs> <laughs> does everyone have someone in their heads? <laughs> As, she, As she kind of walks out, you kind of, obviously, Lenara and Amara, you kind of watch her go. When you turn back around, Madame Eva's not there anymore. Oh. I need to learn that trick as well. <sighs> well Echoing was... in the wind. Not the right race. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit, yeah. Must be a shika well, to learn these skills. Mm. Well, are we going? I I guess. I, I think that's 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 everything. And I sort of puffs a little and is like Yeah. And, like turns and steps out of the tent. <laughs> oh, was it something I said? No, it do. <laughs> I'll follow her out of the tent. <laughs> Let's just say I was expecting that to be more enlightening. Well, I thought it was very enlightening. We at least now know where she's going. She's at the Abbey in Cresc, which is where we were trying to get her anyway. Who? Oh, oh. Marina. Yeah. Well, at least we have a direction now. Hey, that's something. Does anybody else hear that? Hear what? Can... what? That, that hear loud heartbeat. Is it me? I can hear four heartbeats. <laughs> four? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Theron, you can hear. Theron, you can hear five heartbeats. Oh sweet, I can still hear where she is. Wait, is it in the tent? Have you left the tent entirely, Theron? Yes. Yeah, he left first, then Ray, then Lenara, then me. Okay, as Amara, as you step out of the tent, the tent kind of starts to fold in on itself. Ooh. Wrapping itself up, almost as if, you know, there was nothing inside it, until it is a small pack on the ground. Well... Well, did you look at that? We could take Madame Eva with us. Please don't. She probably wouldn't like that. Hmm, I suppose you're right. It then lifts off the ground and oh. finishes. Well, now we can't take her with us. Me? You scared her. 
<laughs> Probably wait, won't I... come back. Honestly, what is that noise? I thought that was my own heartbeat, but now I'm slightly concerned. Not just on the music backtrack. No. Yeah, me too, but I'm just rolling with this. No, that is, <laughs> yeah. that is, that is, that was, what on earth that is was literally on. never there before. That is now there now. Oh, shit. <laughs> I rolled a 24 to perceive my surroundings to look for it. That's absolutely fine. Does anyone else want to roll? Can I still hear the five heartbeats? You can hear five heartbeats. Ah, oh, fuck. Can I roll? And yes, I'm going to be rolling and trying to track the fifth wow. one, which is in the glass. I roll bad. <laughs> I roll good oh, for man. Mm. <clears throat> Um. Yeah. Those are some good rolls and some bad rolls. Uh huh. Yeah. yeah. Amara and Theron. The heartbeat you can hear as you kind of pay attention. You look around. I'm going to say, Amara, you can definitely hear that it's coming from slightly away from you all, but you can't track it very well, even though you rolled higher. Theron has better ears than you, and he can tell almost exactly the direction it's coming in. It is coming, Theron, from about ten feet behind you. Nice. Uh, spin around and go check what's there. <laughs> Theron, you see nothing. Is there any footprints on the ground? Yep. Mark, is the heartbeat still there? Yep. Oh, I don't like this. <laughs> yeah, okay, um, Theron. Magicians, the heartbeat's right in front of me, but I can't see anything. There's also footprints. While he points it, uh... When he points it out to you, then you, you all can notice now the footprints that are there. Can I cast a tech uh, Can I cast a spell? <laughs> okay, give me a second. Uh, both of you roll me a d20. Do you not want to know what this thing is before we reveal it? <laughs> Honestly, I'm kind of hoping when I reveal it, I'll know what it is. <laughs> if you reveal it, maybe it's magic and you're going to kill it. Well, I'm about to dispel magic. Yeah, so if really? it was created by magic, you're just going to kill it. Either honest, way, it gets rid of the problem. I think at this point in Barovia, everything is evil and everything's trying to kill you. <laughs> yeah, pretty yeah. much. Yeah, yeah. roll an eight. Yeah. What did you roll, Inara? Can you roll me something? Can you roll me a d20 as well? D oh, sorry. Big money, no whammies. Oh. Just a normal d20. One hundred. Yep. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Am I dead? <laughs> okay, I'm gonna put you guys on a map. Um, Never a good sign. So that you've got some directional idea of what you're doing. Oh, do I have to roll initiative? This is a fight, map. This is a fight. I have map. 11 health. You can put yeah. Your health's not going to be your normal health. Your health is going to be whatever you were in Castle Ravenloft. So you may need to up it a little bit, especially since you've leveled up. Yeah, and we've had a long rest. Yep, so you can go back to full. Yeah. And mine is 51. So yeah, go ahead and adjust your thingies. Mm -hmm. I heard howling. So... Do I get to dispel first, or...? You do, I thought I was just letting you fix your character first. Oh, right, sorry. <laughs> My bad! So yeah, if you put your HP up to where it should be. Okay. Do, 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 do. I believe since the damage I took from having a knife... It should be... Hmm. That. Then yes, you get to go before Lenara. So you get to cast Detect Magic before she gets to cast uh, Detect Thoughts. <coughs> I'm casting Dispel. Sorry, that's what I meant. Yeah. Yep, yeah, that's fine. Where are okay, you? Are you well, how, is, how are you casting it? Um, well, it's a verbal and a somatic component, so from where Does it I'm have a standing. direction? What are you planning on doing with it? It is instantaneous, it has a 120 foot range, choose one creature, object, or magical effect within range. 
any level of any spell of third level or lower on the target ends yeah, for no, each no, spell. Or... That's what I'm saying, though. You have to target something with it. Oh, I'm targeting the thing that's ten foot in front of him. What the footprints? Yeah, where the footprints are and the thing. Okay. There's a kind of faint shimmer in the air, and that's it. Huh. Well, it's not magically invisible. And, and uh, Lenara, you wanted to detect thoughts? Yes, please. You hear only a kind of... There, there are thoughts there, but they're really hard for you to discern. You can't quite make out what's going on. Are they in a different language? Oh my god. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> they are in a different language. <laughs> what languages do you know? Uh, I know a few. Oh dear. Um, <laughs> I know common and dwarven. And abyssal. It's none of those, I'm afraid. Okay, that's fine. So as far no, as you're no, concerned, there fine. are definitely thoughts, but you're not sure what they are. Something is there. Mm. Ages, anything? Well, it's there not is... got magic spells on it. There is definitely something there. And it is thinking. <laughs> What's it thinking? I don't know. Whatever language it's speaking, I don't. The footsteps... You. The footprints take a step forward and then go completely flat, as if there was never anything stood there, ever. Hello? Well, um, could you potentially repeat what it's saying? Or at least sound like what it's saying? Can I? <laughs> Um, no. You can kind of make vague guttural noises. I'm basically Joey when he tries to speak French. Okay. <laughs> Theron, do either of those hit you? No. Okay. You do feel I like... feel it try to hit me? You feel a gust of wind. Very slight. Just go past your cheek. It, did it disappear? I don't hear the heartbeat no more. The heartbeat's still there, it was just annoying me. <laughs> <laughs> it was OC getting on my nerves, so I thought, yeah, no, it's still there, but it's, um... It's, I think it's, nice. it's kind of a little bit quieter. Well, um... I think it just tried it? to hit... So it's in front of you? Yeah. Um, I... Can I cast Hold Person? Amara, do either of those hit your AC? My AC is 13. Second one does. So the one does. Okay, Amara. You are suddenly knocked knocked to the ground and you take 11 points of bludgeoning damage. Ow! <laughs> okay. Uh... Can everyone roll me initiatives, please? Uh... What? That wasn't what? pleasant. I got knocked down to the ground. Um, oh no, did you fall on your bottom? Amara got knocked down quite badly. A I took a lot hurt. of damage. Oh. What, and now what we're doing initiatives, please. Pulling, what's happening? Initiatives. Oh god. It's my time. Mic, my mic cuts out at the most pinnacle of times. One minute we're walking, <laughs> the next minute we're in a fight. I, I, There's an invisible oh, presence with a very oh. loud heartbeat that appears to be attacking us. Why didn't I learn see invisibility? <laughs> Why didn't I learn anything? Right, plus three. So it's not goes fair. Before Ray and Amara. I forgot. It's plus three. It's bad. I'm sorry. That's yeah, fine. <laughs> you got the same as Theron, so um, he goes before you because he's got a higher dex mod. Good. That's all right. Ah. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> It is Amara's go. Help. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I cast 
freaking whole person, bitch. On the space directly in front of you? Yes. You cast hold person, and there's a faint breeze, but that's it. You don't know if it worked or didn't. What's the DC for it? Um... There is one. Oh, wisdom. Sorry. It, the DC is... 18? 17. I think. Okay. No, 18. But yeah, you're yeah. not quite sure if it's worked or not. You've cast it, but obviously there's no visible objects. You can't tell if it's still moving or not. Okay. Well, I'm going to take 10 foot steps backwards away from wherever I just held something. Okay. Um... <clears throat> Does 16 hit you? Balls. That means it didn't work. Okay! <laughs> uh, yes, a 16 hits me. You take 12 bludgeoning damage as it slams into you again. Ow! Whole person take away reactions? Whole person paralyzes them. They cannot move. Okay. Therefore, if I walk away and it's still hitting me, I know it's not worked. Okay. It's a clever way to figure it out, although it costs to yourself, obviously. Yes, it is yeah. a cost to myself, but when have I not done things that cost to myself? <laughs> okay. Am I allowed to move further? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You get your full amount of movement. Okay, that was 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. I'm going to go stand behind Lenara. <laughs> <laughs> Fair enough. Lenara, is your go. Um, I have a bonus action, if that's if okay. If you want to use it, absolutely. I wish to cast Healing Word on myself. Fair point. <laughs> How many level ones have you got left? Um, well, I slept, so all of them. I don't remember what all of them is. Oh. Um, <laughs> four. Cool. Um, yeah, that's a fair point. It's something that um, Chrono and I discussed the other day. Did you know that your Jack of All Trades, Madam Bard, allows you to add mm -hmm. half of your proficiency bonus to your initiative as well? I don't know. My initiative is plus four. Okay, well, your you know how you have Which... I think you've got Jack of All Trades. Yeah, no, I already have that applied on because okay. my dex is a plus three, my initiatives are plus four, my proficiency bonus is plus three. So technically half of that rounded down is a one. one. Yeah, so it's already added but it for you. you. Thank you very much. Yeah, no, we only People just figured this out the other day. People care about whether I'm using my stuff. Well, no, we, just, we didn't realise, <laughs> and it was something that Corona discovered the other day. I didn't realise that um, Jack of All Trades counted on initiative, but it's technically a dexterity ability roll. So, mm. it does work. Um, yeah, so, Lenara, it's your go. Is this a bad time to mention that with my gauntlets, whenever I cast a fire spell... Everything within anyone... five feet of you takes damage. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, that's a really shit time to mention <laughs> this. Thanks for mentioning this now while I'm behind you. I'm healing okay. for 11 points. In what general... Where was Amara before? Which she... No. Oh, god damn it. Uh, when Amara cast, cast her hold person spell, she was, yes, in that square there. Okay. And was that where she was when she got attacked? Yes. Okay. So, yeah. In that I case... Sort of went 10 foot back... <laughs> Yeah, no, I was I was in this square here. Yep, so I was here. <sighs> Let's see what the sorcerer does. Sorcerer's got to set the whole forest on fire again. Well, of course. It's going to be a little <laughs> bit more lower, a little bit more dramatic. Which means it was here, I think, or maybe here. But I was there. Okay, so this part, I'm gonna have to look at it when I try and switch over. This bit here. Okay. I would like to actually, before I do that, cast, I mean, take a five foot step in this direction. Yeah, that's fine. <laughs> and then cast Fireball on what previous dimension. Where, sorry, where are you casting it? The spot where she was standing before? Uh, hang on. So, uh, uh, here. 
where this zero thing is. In, in the middle of the forest. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. In the. Don't <laughs> 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 burn the world. Okay. What's um, the What's the roll to half it? Uh, it is. Sorry, I'm just trying to find the window. Uh, dex saving throw. Dex. Okay. Um. Yeah. So roll your damage. Um. Don't forget the damage increase you get from your awesome gauntlets. I believe oh, they give shit. you a damage increase yes. for fire spells. So don't forget to include that um, as well. Um. For our viewers, Lenora yeah. got a gift from Father Christmas, which were a pair of gauntlets. The gauntlets of the Afrit. Let her add damage to fire, and also everyone within a five foot space of her when she casts fire magic gets hit by fire. Um. Yay. Ouch. Okay, so I did add my <laughs> macro, and this is painful. This is the first time I've cast this. And oh shit, I didn't move far enough. Wait, no, I didn't move my character, did I? No, you can move your character because you said about oh, it. Yeah, I want to move that. Oh, yeah. look at you! You're so freaking sweet. I was about to die. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, this is it. Oh no, you don't. Kid. No, you don't take that much yeah, damage. You don't take. It's yeah, like five you or six. Get, or uh, five. Yeah, five. Five. five For damage. a bard, that's a lot of damage. <laughs> Right, where oh where's fireball? I got fireball, there we go. Damn! Fifty damage. Oh, damn, okay. man. What's the DC to half it? Uh the DC is <laughs> is higher than that. Uh it is fifteen. Yeah. I'm sorry. <laughs> okay. There it is an eruption of flame off this direction in the forest. Pretty much all of the trees in a massive area. Um, I'm gonna do. No, I'm not gonna do that. Yes, I'm gonna do that. Make it red. Make it. Yep. Yeah. No, what's happening? My screen's gone funny. Oh no. Bear with me <coughs> one second. So, DM screen's gone funny, we all level up. <laughs> <laughs> um, burst of fire. So, Lenara throat pushes her hand over. Big fireball. Ooh. Boom! Large yeah, explosion. And then, everything in a 20 foot radius of there eh, takes a hit. <laughs> yeah, that's it. Show's over. Go home. And do all that. <laughs> We've maxed out the budget. <laughs> I'm quite happy with that. I love that thing. Um, that is cool. So let's see. It would hit pretty I much right here. I need to learn gust of wind to like combat this. <laughs> so like cast fireball like and then going. gust of wind to just blow it all out. How far was it? Like it's 20 foot, so it's going to be four squares from there outwards. About that. Oh. Fuck. And all that of the all of the trees are now on fire. But did I hit the thing? I think you hit everything. <laughs> you may you well have hit the thing. We probably didn't want to hit. On the plus side, it, there's no end of roast pigeon. It doesn't make a noise. <laughs> um, there's no noise made. Um, you can't tell if you hit it or not. You hope so. <laughs> Would you like to do Nora anything just else? Sort of frowns into the fire. Theron, um, Theron now has no eyebrows. I would like. I would like to move. <laughs> Why didn't I? So I'm like stood behind Amara now. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like this. One of you needs to like learn a spell to put out just... fire for fuck's sake. Um, <clears throat> cause, Please. Because like last time that she did this, she burned down an entire windmill. You need to. You need to sort this shit out, guys. You had all the goddamn loot in it. That oh. windmill had. In fact, Theron, you owned that windmill. So <laughs> the windmill. And one of the children <laughs> died. Um... <laughs> yeah, that was rough. If you let me change two spells for my level up, I will totally learn gust of wind. <laughs> I will just spread the fire. I've just come up with a brilliant idea. She casts idea gust of wind and it just expands. <laughs> Um, <laughs> Lenora, is that your turn done? Yes. Yeah. yeah, unless I can cast Mage Hand and try and waft it again. Nope. <laughs> Theron, your go. 
Uh, oh, damn mages! <laughs> oh no, he's turning into a Templar. Oh no! <laughs> I'll never go back in the circle! I'm gonna move up to here. Yeah. And can I hear where this thing is? Can I hear it all anymore, or do I just hear fire everywhere? You pretty much just hear fire. I thought so. <laughs> I'm gonna pull out my sunblade and light it up as much as I can. Try to increase the sunlight in the area. Yeah. Hopefully that'll do something. I'm pretty much useless. The sunlight gets bright. Do you, do you, would, you like, would, you, would you like an aura? Nah, I'm good. Oh. You can make me an aura if you want. But we can move on to Ray's turn. Oh. Ooh. No one else can see it anyway. Damn, that's annoying. Oh yeah, Lenara, you need that. Jesus Christ. I can only, like, unlearn and then relearn one new spell each level. Um... Theron, you could roll me perception checks. Ooh. I'd like to try that. Because if you ask me, can I still hear it, that's like a passive check. But if you want to make an active check and you really focus on it. Okay. 14 total. You hear flames. <laughs> wow. <laughs> that was mean. And that's hey, my goal. Flames. You do see something. Slightly mm. moving. Right there. Did you say flames? Well, right the flames where? are kind of turning, curving. Oh, I'm on the wrong thing again. Uh, right here. It's kind mm. of, they're moving around a shape. It doesn't have a specific shape that stays. It seems to be moving quite a lot. But there is something there that is not there anywhere else where you can see. Oh, so I can see this still on my turn? Yes. Although to attack it, you'd be risking getting getting set on fire. Gah! <laughs> At least you can see it. I mean, <laughs> she's like, I did good, guys. It's fine. I just shout into that direction. The fuck do you want? And that's my turn. Is it Ray's turn? Hmm? It is hey. Ray's turn. It is. Um, can I roll some sort of would like perception? Would that be a bonus, or would be about like my whole go? To do what? I roll perception just to see where this thing is. Oh no, you can see it. That's what I said. It's like there. Theron was rolling to here. It's very faint to see, can... and it seems to be difficult to pin down, but it's kind of there. Can I see it, or do I have to roll for it? You can see it. Okay. It would just be hard to hit because it's moving a lot. Um. Hmm. What do I want to do? I want to try and hit it. <laughs> <laughs> um. Because I do have evasion now, which lets me dodge out of the way of certain area effects. Such as Why? a fireball no. spell. The fireball spell has already been cast. <laughs> this is just fire. Oh. Yeah, is she that cast not... a, she, No, it's like if she cast a fireball where you're standing, you would dodge it and everyone around you would be hit. But she's cast oh. a fireball, it's exploded, and set the trees on fire. Oh. Uh, okay. Sadly. Sorry, I, I read that as in like an area that was affected by a spell. No, an area of that effect spell. Sense. So anything like a cone spell or a burst spell. It, anything that takes up more than one square that doesn't target one creature, that, that's what evasion is for. Uh, oh, okay. That kind of throws out the window what I was going to do. I mean, you can still um, hit the thing, you just you may be taking risks, because you'll be... The thing is currently in fire, so you can move near it without hurting yourself, but attacking it, you may be taking a risk. Yeah. Uh... Hmm. I don't... Think I can do anything? Up to you. I really don't think I can do anything. I can literally just smack things with a stick or punch them. You can still smack it with a stick. 
Or you could hold your turn. Um. Uh, um. I'll just stand on guard then. I guess. I'll just stay here. <laughs> I don't know <laughs> what to do. I'm just gonna stay here. I can't see it. Um, and I don't really want to be on fire again. That was not good. So, okay. yeah, I'll just... <coughs> okay, the thing doesn't seem to be in the fire anymore. Of course it's not. Denara, do either of those hit you? Of course they do. Both okay. of them do. Ah. You take 13 bludgeoning damage, damn, and then 15 bludgeoning damage. So you take 28 bludgeoning damage as something slams into you, and then as, like, as soon as you're starting to recover from that, it slams into you again. This is fine. Everything's fine. Nothing is ruined. Amara, it's your go again. I'm going to take a bottle of ink out of my bag. I'm now going to throw the open ink, like open it up and throw it all over where something just attacked Lenara. Interesting. Okay, the thing is right here. Okay. What do you want me to roll to throw this ink on it? Um, I'd say a dexterity, just a straight dex. I mean, I'd say a ranged attack <coughs> normally, but you're right beside it, so. Yes! <laughs> okay, essentially what happens is, have you ever thrown anything into the wind? This thing, you throw it in and it's completely scattered. You get a faint idea of where the thing is, but the ink doesn't actually touch anything solid. It just kind of whips around for a bit and is thrown back at you, at Lenara, at all of the space around you. Almost, it's basically <laughs> anywhere the ink didn't land on the ground right now is where this creature is. It's just like a circle in the middle of this giant ink puddle. Ooh, that was... Not exactly what I expected. <laughs> but I'll say that's a. I'm gonna give you that as a bonus action if you want to take a full action. Oh yay! Thank goodness for that. Because I'm being nice. Um. <laughs> I'm so glad you are because there's a weird wind creature and I don't like it. Um. I'm going to make an executive decision. Those are always the best kind of decisions. <laughs> Those are the best kind of decisions. Um, let's see if I can do this. I can't. Balls. Okay, um... I'm gonna run. <laughs> you're gonna, you're gonna run. Well, I can't see it, I can't hit it, and I certainly can't cast any spells against it. Well, you can see where it is now, but yeah, okay. Well, only until it moves. Yep, yeah, that's true. Okay, where would you like to move to? This is the thing, though. It's gonna hit you. I know it's gonna hit me. I don't really know what else to do with it. Because normally you'd be able to disengage, but since you've already taken an action, you can't do that. I understand this, but I'm just trying to think about what I can do. Fine. You know what? Fine. If it's an argument it wants, it's an argument it's going to get in its head. <laughs> it needs to make me a wisdom saving throw. What is it you're doing? <coughs> I did not hear that question. What is it you're doing? I am casting Dissonant Whispers. It is a first level verbal enchantment. It is instantaneous. 
And the creature must make a wisdom saving throw. Okay, yeah, it does understand common, and it can be, yeah, it can be affected by those. Okay, wisdom saving throw, what's the, um... 18, I believe, no, 19, because it's first level. 19, okay. Let's, um... I keep I keep miscalculating because I didn't add it up the first time. It's supposed to be eighteen it as fails. a base. He fails. Takes twelve points of psychic damage and must immediately use its reaction if available to move as far away as its speed allows it to from me. The creature doesn't move into obviously dangerous ground such as a fire or a pit, unfortunately. <laughs> oh, so it's kind of it's frightened of you? It's terrified. It must use its immediate reaction to run away. Yeah, okay, fair enough. And does it take damage? Did you say that? 12? Yep, 12 okay. psychic damage. Do you know what? I'm going to put the thing... I'm going to make it so that you guys can kind of see it. <coughs> but I see you can't see it. Okay, that's fine. It's very hard to see anyway, the token. Does it drag the ink with it? <laughs> Well, it hasn't moved yet because it hasn't taken its action yet. It's a reaction. Oh, sorry. It uses its reaction to get the hell away. Yep. It must immediately use its reaction if available to move as far away as its speed allows it to away from me. Okay. That's yeah, you gonna, better run. That's going to take, <laughs> take me off the map. So I'm going to move him right to the edge of the map. He is now... Oh no, you can't see him. He has moved. There is a gust of wind. I can see wind. he's moved. Yeah, but you can't icy see him. That's the thing. That's fine. From what I know is there's a gust of wind, so he appears to have moved. And since I know what spell I cast, I can estimate an educated guess it probably worked. Okay. May I speak? Or is there not enough time? Of course there is. I say, it's run, let's go. And it is now Linara's turn. There is a faint trail of ink leading from its square. And you can, if you look very carefully, possibly spot where it is. You'd have to move closer though. But it has moved off in this direction. Uh, which direction? I mean, you can see it on the map, right? Oh, that, that, now I can. It is now oh, was that a over here. Okay. But, yeah. <laughs> and with that, I am going to <laughs> grab Amara. And I'm going to cast, um... I might as well one more hit from this thing and I'm dead. I'm gonna cast Dimension Door. And transport us like here. Amara, <laughs> right are you that. are you willing? <laughs> kind of. Okay, before before <laughs> I do it, I can just say, trust me, and then I grab her. <laughs> do you trust her? Oh, that's oh, a actually, very loaded question. <laughs> I'm gonna <laughs> In this situation, yes. <laughs> Actually, to the bottom of the map, so like, because I didn't see the path here. Okay, if you no, move we'll your character there, there um, then Amara can move down with yeah. you. Cool. Shroop. Don't worry. Shroop. Then Amara That's... can then move to join you. Yeah, because I can move 500 feet. Oh, yeah, you can move way far away from that if you wanted to. <laughs> Amara, could you go join to the ghost town? Can I do what move? Join her, yeah. please. Yeah, just move down. Move your character down to her. Uh, when we eventually land, can I say something briefly? No. Yep. Oh, oh, you know, no, I sorry. can do that too. <laughs> it is Theron's go. I scowl. Whatever. <laughs> 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 Follow them. Okay. Oh, I can double, I guess. Yeah, you definitely can. 
Okay, it's my go. Since everyone else has run away, <laughs> run away. I'm, gonna, I'm gonna run away too. I can run double if it's just my full thing, right? Yeah. Cool. I can easily catch up. To <laughs> That's not even my full speed. <laughs> so basically, what's just happened is we've cast Dimension Door and popped out the other side to see Ray sprinting past us. <laughs> Gentle jog, she's like, goodbye! <laughs> so, while we're sitting here arguing about the fact we both learnt the same spell, Ray <laughs> makes our spell completely redundant. <laughs> okay, are you guys just yeah. gonna keep... What are you guys planning on doing here? Are you just gonna keep running? <laughs> I ain't stopping. Well, well, I cast Dimension Door because another hit and I'm dead, and I think Amara was slightly injured. I'd pull this away to heal us while they beat the thing and we'd come back and sort of flank it. It probably but... would have been good to tell <laughs> them that before you Dimension Doored. <laughs> if Lenora had said that to Theron and Ray, they may have done that. I was kind of hoping they wouldn't see where I popped out. <laughs> I'm well, we heard Amara gonna... say, it's running, run! Yeah, yeah, that's what I said. I've decided, nope, we ain't winning this, and I've left. You always ruin things! <laughs> okay, in that case, um, it's Amara's go. Um, I will probably... You're now, like, run? about 100, 120 <laughs> feet away from where it is? Oh, you're gonna keep running? Probably. I'm, I'm probably going to cast as a bonus action. Do I have that? Hold on. Uh, cure wounds? No, that's not a bonus action, but I'm going to cast it, and then I'm going to run. Okay, so on you're going to... Amara. Well, on, you're gonna, on Linara. You're going to walk. Because I know she's... <laughs> I'm going to stop. I'm going to cast it, and then I'm going to run. So you can move 30 feet. Yeah. Cool. It's not very far, but that's that's what I'm planning on doing. Okay, essentially what I'm going to do then, guys, I'm going to take you back to the top of the map. Okay. <laughs> you know, <laughs> because this is this obviously this path isn't going to just be this long, but I'm, I've run out of map. So I'm going to move you guys to the top of the map, and I'm going to move this map accordingly. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> Okay. Uh, Lenara, you heal for 12, and then I keep going. Yeah. And I'm probably going to yell something like, Well, I don't think we can take this one, so we better get going. Okay. And then go ahead and move yourself to wherever you decide to go. Um, well, the things I remember us needing to do is go to Argon Vastholt, but I don't know what that is. Mm -hmm. uh, where's the nearest sort of safe place or... Safe-ish looking place. Either back to Barovia town or back to Valaki town. But they're both pretty oh. far away. Okay, is and there anything else in here? On the map? I mean... Not where you'd want to settle. I guess back to Madame Eva's tent. Yeah, I don't really want to go there. Um, <laughs> what, Karen? Then... Which is now gone, anyway. Yeah. Which is now gone. But that area was like relatively. I mean, it's by a river on one side. It's quite open. I'm just thinking there, of then. nice places that are nearby. Yeah, in Barovia, nice places. Nice er places. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Barovia. The village of Barovia is about a half a day to the east. You can go back to Ravenloft within about half a day. Um, the windmill is about just a little bit further than that to the west. This is the type of thing where we can be running and chatting. Probably. Yes. But you're still in initiative order for a good reason. Well, okay. I ran. 30 it is foot. Lenara's turn. Hmm. 
just gotta run to there. <laughs> That's my turn. <laughs> okay, Theron. Ew. Same thing, just running. Full pelt? Okay. Right? And I'll shout out while I go, head for Velaki. <laughs> Can I do a uh, reception check just to have a look around, see if there's anything, as we're currently just running wildly through this, this forest. Let's do perception. If that's cool. Yeah, it's always cool. Always. Woo! <laughs> okay. You're in the middle of the forest. You know your directions to those places, but you don't see anything specifically to worry about around you. Cool, okay. I'm gonna run. <laughs> I'm just gonna just do one because did a perception, and that's my go. Okie dokie. Oh no, I wouldn't quite get there. Okay. Um. Okay, then we'll say we'll, we can break initiative order now. What's the plan? Um, my plan is to catch up with the others because <laughs> I'm 30 foot behind them all yep okay uh, I don't know what that thing is I'm probably going to need to have a look at a book Whew. <coughs> but um we should find somewhere ingenious to hide or we should just keep running and go to Velaki took it a while to catch up with us you will not be able to run the whole way to Velaki. I'm aware we'll need brakes. Oh, yeah. I, I don't... Is Velaki such a good idea? I mean, you've got to go yeah, to Velaki on the way there anyway, so... Which way... Which direction did we head in on this map? We're down we were down like, at G. You're currently down yeah, by we G. we were down at G. Velaki which, is which up way did we run? Did we run that way, or did we run this way? Entirely up to you guys. We ran northwest. <laughs> okay. Fine. Oh, well, run back as soon Velaki. as we started oh, running, I said head towards Velaki. So. No, that is true. He did shout out head towards Velaki, so you probably would be actually genuinely heading that way. What? What's what's this? Is that the windmill? No, that's Ravenloft. Castle Barovia. Oh. Castle oh, Ravenloft. The wind. The windmill is here. Velaki is here. What we want to get is the tower here and Krezek up here. So we're going to be running for days. I don't really want to run for days. I will probably say that I don't really feel like running for days. But they're taking the hobbits to Isengard. <laughs> <laughs> you got a better oh. idea? Do you want to fight it? Not particularly. I'm assuming you're all still moving while you're having this conversation. Yes, yep, you're yep. all still moving. Okay. Perhaps we can just find somewhere genius to hide. I mean, it can't be everywhere, right? It followed us across moving water, despite the fact that it's some sort of spirit. I have no idea what we're dealing with. How do we know it followed us from across the moving water? Maybe it was just on this side of the river? It attacked us on the other side of the river and then on this side of the river. When did this happen? <laughs> it chased us from Barovia Castle, okay. It's chased us I, down. Oh, Barovia. I didn't actually roll my perception high enough to notice that. Yeah, you may not uh, have told them no. all that, dude. <laughs> yeah, you didn't <laughs> tell me this. It's as far as I'm concerned. Thank you. Time we it. <laughs> that was the same thing I told you was following us back at the castle. You never told us anything was following us back at the castle. Yeah, he did. yeah, I did. I shouted over my shoulder multiple times while I was sprinting through gargoyles. Yeah, the thing that followed you down the stairs and stuff, he told you all about it. Well, I'm terribly sorry if I was a little busy trying to organise a whole bunch of gargoyles and basically sacrificing myself to get you out of a castle. Hey, apology accepted. 
<laughs> Amara looks relatively cheesed off while running. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like that everything's went quiet. We're gonna die. <sighs> All right. Well, does anyone else okay. hear that? Then perhaps yes. We'll just keep running. <laughs> we'll try and find somewhere ingenious to hide during our break. Best hiding we could have would be that hut again. We should just travel all day and try to get to Velaki tomorrow. <sighs> you realize I can't run as fast as you guys. If you all sprint for the entire day, you will take a level of exhaustion before, way before you hit, and before you hit sleep time. Fuck. You can't sprint for an entire twelve for an entire twelve hours odd, sixteen hours. Not to mention, I don't particularly feel like crossing that river again. Well, you've got to cross the river to get north, because it runs, like, the whole way. Ow. River, river, river. Still river. What do we do? There's Lassa River. Uh. <sighs> Would you rather run to Barovia and see if we can hire a carriage? That would mean turning around. Oh. Yes. Like, like the voice in the sky says, that would mean turning around. I don't particularly want to have to walk past it again. Or run past it again. <gasps> then, then get moving. I didn't stop! <laughs> I'm assuming you did. <laughs> no, I'm still running. You're having a very okay. nice, calm conversation for sprinting. Are we, are we jogging? Oh, I'm sorry, what, what, how are... I pant more. No, how are we moving, people? Because um, you're, you're just... Are you walking? Are you sprinting? Are you jogging? This is very important. Okay, I'm slowing down to hiking pace. Let's just travel for the whole day. Leave okay, at night, I travel tomorrow. Hike. Hiking is good. Okay. And run the whole way. Yes. Keep your ears about you. <laughs> if it starts coming towards us again, we'll have to run again. Okay. Yes? Are you seriously telling us to keep our ears open? You'll hear anything before we even get a slightest idea that something's after us. It was floating off of the ground for some points of that battle. It might do that again to sneak up on us. <sighs> Lenara, how many times can you cast that spell again? The, the teleporty one. <sighs> Would depend. On? How close to a rest would we be after... You guys can rest whenever you want. Well, I presume back. it would give us a decent head start and then we'd be able to rest. Um, um, you're probably at the up. moment coming up to the river at the, at, at the bridge. I could probably cast it once more. In fact, I could definitely cast it once more. Alright, well if you grab Ray and I'll grab Theron. And I say we try and get to the other side of the mountains or something. Oh, actually, wait, no. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, I can cast it once more. Jesus, that's expensive. Just head full range as far as you can towards Velaki. So it's 500 feet, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. 500 feet along the path towards Velaki. Okay. Would you like a sense of scale for the map? Yes, please. Every every like hex, hexagon tile on this map is a quarter of a mile, yeah. ish. Some some of them some areas. Just like, oh. How many feet in a mile? <laughs> he googles. <laughs> a mile is five thousand two hundred and eighty feet. So. <laughs> oh, one use of that spell won't even get you one hexagon. One use of that spell, yeah, won't get you a hexagon on this map. That's why, I'm, that's why, like, I keep saying traveling from here to here can't, takes, like, a half day and stuff like that. But I will reveal way, the bottom, still... bottom left-hand corner now yeah. will show you one square, which was one quarter mile, just in case, because I'd, I'd forgotten I hadn't revealed that to you guys. And then you're also going to be going through mountains when you walk. Okay. Well, it'll still get us 500 feet away from Ghosty McWind face. So Don't I'd say save that spell for if he catches up to us, and we need to get a jump on him. I don't know how fast he can travel right now. <sighs> Fine. 
Let's just keep going then. Four three five. Pretty much. Um X. So that's nine. It's about nine miles. Through mountain ranges. Okay. I miss my ranger. <laughs> <A's>. <laughs> so, okay. I mean let's say What's the average human walking speed? Ten miles per hour. About oh, three miles per hour. Okay. I have been overestimating how long it's gonna take you. It's gonna it's gonna probably take you guys about four hours. You all need to take small breaks and stuff. Ready uh, um let me just do one of these. One of those, and another one, and another one. Okay. It's a long trek and you you it's very difficult because of how whenever you kind of start slowing down to take a break Theron won't let you stop for a very long time you get like a five minutes to catch your breath and then he kind of pushes you forward but you travel for a, a good number of hours and you make it to Velaki after about four or five hours yeah nice <clears throat> great we're here. I need a drink. Good job. How about we get to the inn? You can do some research and maybe ask the Braven people. The Braven? Oh, Raven. Sorry. <laughs> Your accent confuses me greatly. You don't have an accent. <laughs> That's what they all say. <laughs> All right, to the inn it is. Okay, you guys come walking in through the sun door, or the eastern gate. Um, and yeah, make way through town. Everyone's pretty happy to see you. As they were, you know, you rescued their, all of their children. That's absolutely wonderful. They love you. Yay! Hello, people. Um, um, I will probably ask for rooms. Uh, one room for the night. And um, I will suggest to the others that we all stay in the same room. What I'm going to suggest is before we get to the inn, we take a break. Yay! Okay. Because I could use a pay. I'm such are we a lazy actor. Until 10:30 again tonight, or are we go in until 10:45. Uh, between 10:30 and 11, whenever is a good time to end. But we're aiming for about 10:30. Yeah. Cool. Yay! And lovely viewers, we're going to go on break. So. We're going to go on a five minute break. We'll be back at exactly quarter to ten. So, hope you stick around. Hope to see you soon. BRB, yo.
Okay, welcome back everyone. We are back. Yay. And I just realized that I have got no music going on on the game, which is bad. I need a town kind of not type kind of thing going on. Dark city, let's try that one. Right. So, you guys kind of head towards the Blue Water Inn. A setting you are quite familiar with. And is everyone there? Is everyone can anyone hear me okay? Yeah. Yeah. Hi. Yeah. We can hear you. Cool. Okay, so we head back you head back into the uh, the, 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 the words. You head back into the Blue Water Inn. You're greeted very very fondly by the uh, the inn master, the head of the Were Ravens. Very pleased to see you. Welcomes you in. Big hugs for pretty much everyone. He really likes you guys. And just, I hug him back. <laughs> how is everybody? How are the savers of the town? Yeah. We're Sorry, okay. I didn't hear anyone that said anything there. Um. Uh, I yes, we're okay. Mm -hmm. Just tired. Very very we're, tired. <laughs> we're alive. So. <laughs> um. Well, alive is always a good start. Hmm. I know, right? Um. Owen Martikoff kind of welcomes you in, and he's just he puts drinks out for you guys. He immediately kind of brushes past some regulars, goes and speaks to his wife behind the bar who hasn't noticed you yet. She gets really excited. Oh, they're back, fantastic. And she rushes back behind it, through the door in the back into the kitchens. Takes literally only a few minutes. She comes back out with um, a plate of like <sighs> nibbles, I guess. It's like different cuts of, of thinly sliced meats, uh, olives, things like that. She puts down on a table for you. She actually shoes a guy away from the table to make sure there's a table big enough for all of you to fit. <laughs> and puts down a, f a few bottles of wine and a large kind of, I guess a mini cask of ale with a small tap in it. I like this place. Food. We haven't eaten in like six hours. Oh, if not longer. Mm. Thank That's you so much. We went for dinner, but did we actually eat dinner? Some of you did. Just drinking kind <laughs> of eating, or...? No! <laughs> ate dinner. Yeah, some of you ate, <gasps> ate the food, but some of you just refused. I am eating this food. <laughs> you have had a, a full day's walk. And there's loads of people that start, you, you start digging in, there's people that come over and like, uh, Theron, one guy comes over and literally straight up claps you on the back. So, oh, welcome back, the heroes of Alaki. Everyone's really cheering, everyone claps. Can't talk, eating. Yay. <laughs> heroes. <laughs> Yay. And just gotta try to shoot people away. Yeah, that's fair. And yeah, it's relatively peaceful again. It's almost like life has returned to some semblance of normal for you <laughs> since you came to Barovia. This is one of the few places where you feel comfortable, you feel at home. You know, you have rooms on retainer for you upstairs. You all kind of relax a little bit. Everything's better. <laughs> <sighs> What's gonna happen? <laughs> After a little bit, <laughs> no, no, there is there are things. Things do happen, but not in anything negative yet. Um, Owen comes over after like he's finished serving a bunch of customers. He gets a bit of a lull. Comes over and sits down at your table and just so come on. What have you been up to? Might want to talk in private. <coughs> oh, that's serious, huh? Yeah. He scratches his head a little bit sure. and goes, "Okay, well, I'll tell you what." I will go back to my work, and when you are finished with your food and you want to have a conversation, call me over. I come upstairs to one of your rooms. 
Sounds fair. He kind Sounds of good. he go, goes back to serving people and yeah. You guys can go back to relaxing, chilling, enjoying each other's company for a bit. Oh, I just feel up. like a, 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 a sense of false at that, 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 you know what I mean. False sense of security. <laughs> That's the one. <laughs> Theron bit, stands up as soon as he leaves. You guys better eat fast. Remember we're being pursued. Has, has Theron ate all his food or can I eat some of his food? <laughs> <laughs> Theron probably ate a tiny bit to sustain himself. <laughs> yeah, Theron ate some of it, but he hasn't eaten a lot of it. Like you guys have been, you're all pretty hungry. You've all been eating quite cons- quite consistently. He. Amara had filled up a plate of a food. <laughs> he's kind of. I mean, Theron took some food, but he's not really picked. He's not really eating it. He's eating it enough to kind of survive, but not to be comfortably full. And Danica oh, is no. behind the bar, kind of serving people. And every now and again, you guys catch glimpses of Brom and Bray, the little Mardikovs, as they run around. One of whom Amara had a really strong conversation with in her bedroom. Um. <laughs> let's, let's not bring that back up, please. <laughs> not sound ominous at all. The, the little boy in her room. Accusing oh, hey us. now. <laughs> we had a very serious conversation that was... It's true. Okay, so, Theron, what are you doing? You stood up, told everyone they should eat quick. Yep. Just ate as much food as he needs to to survive and went to stand by the stairs, glaring at them. I'm gonna just shovel a load of food in my face, pick up a bottle of wine to take with me and just follow Theron (laughs) as I'm trying to chew. (laughs) Uh, I'll follow Ray. Um, like as you kind of all move over to the stairs, um, both of the owners of this place all, almost at once move. Owen comes over to the bottom of the stairs to meet you, and Danica goes over to your table to begin clearing off the food and the drinks that are left and stuff. Anything she can salvage, any bottles not open and stuff, she takes back behind the bar. The rest she kind of puts on the bar and, stuff, and pours from them instead of to other people, instead of getting new bottles out. Makes sense. And Owen comes over to you and goes, Is everything alright, my friends? I wish I knew. Probably not. Can we walk upstairs? Yes, of course. He takes uh, a big a big iron ring from his belt covered in keys, leads you first up the stairs, and o- I straight away unlocks the door to Theron's room. Mm. Ushers people inside. Mm. We, we, we can talk in here, yes? This is okay, Theron? Yes, should be fine. I want to scare the customers. Okay. <sighs> he kind of lets himself in and goes and sits down at the chair near your nightstand. I sit on the bed. I quite like this music. I mean, include this as part of my thing now. Yeah, this is awesome. So once everybody's in and the door's closed, Darren's just got his cut straight to the point. You know of any kind of spirit, kind of like a wind spirit that pursues people? Seems to be one following us ever since we went to Castle Let Ravenloft. As soon as you say that, there's a sharp intake of breath. Oh, you've been in the castle, of course. The fact that you are here is, is amazing. Testament to your skills and abilities. <sighs> but if you have something following you, that is quite a concern. Yeah, we can't seem to figure out what it is. <clears throat> you say a wind spirit. Perhaps. It seems to have a heartbeat and it has feet that it walks on the ground with, but we can't <laughs> see it and it can fly at points. He, you can kind of see his face screwing up a little bit, like he's trying not to laugh. <laughs> it, it has a heartbeat and it has feet that it uses to walk. Um, you are narrowing it down very well, Theron. Um, I chuckle slightly. It, there are a number of things it could potentially be. It could be a wind elemental. It could be some kind of wraith. It could be an invisible stalker. It could be a primordial being. It could be a type of fairy. Um, can I try and roll an into 
sounds most. Sorry, honey, you're cutting out loads. Oh, is this any better? Yeah, that's much better. Yeah. Oh, I said, can I please roll some form of intelligence to try and figure out which one it's most like out of those things he just lifted? Um. Do you have knowledge of nature? You're a bard, oh, I do. Think. I would say roll me. I'm gonna say, say roll me knowledge of nature with advantage. This this sounds like a kind of Vistani kind of pub. I like this music. <clears throat> to examine nature, if you know what I mean. That's concerning. <laughs> Gonna roll it again. Awesome. Yeah, with a sixteen. <laughs> and examine the trees again, you permits. Okay. Um, <laughs> it's most likely either a wind elemental or an invisible stalker. Those two sound most like what it is you're dealing with here. You feel like if it was a fey or some kind of primordial being, or if it, I mean, you've dealt with wraiths before, you guys have fought a wraith. It was nothing like this. You could see the wraith. Well, it's most likely to potentially be some form of wind elemental or maybe even invisible stalker. Can you describe more on those? I'm afraid there wasn't much in some of my books. I only know what I hear in the tavern. I'm not a learned man. Um, I cannot tell you any more than this, I am afraid. I only know what, what adventurers that come here describe certain creatures as. That is as far as I can go. I see. Well. What's the plan? Should we move on? I mean, you, you have plenty of books in your room. You could look in for ten minutes and figure out. Okay, I'm a do that. <laughs> Except by my room, I mean Theron's room. Since that's where we are right now. That is where you are, but your books are in your room. In your... Did, did I leave them behind? Well, you can't. You've got tons of books now, don't you? Did weren't you collecting books from people and stuff? I don't recall ever being given any more books. You've taken books from several you, locations. Yeah, I, I think you were keeping a bunch of books in your room because you have like bookshelves and shit. Yeah. Okay. Sure. Why not? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you've been. You took. You, yeah, you've taken some from several different locations now. I assumed you were. Well, I wouldn't here. steal them. No, no you when we first came here, you, they like basically said, we'll set you up in the room with the uh, books and shit. And since then, you have been taking books from like Wopter and other I didn't take any books from Wopter. You did, because he gave oh. you some. Oh, only if they're given to me. I he wouldn't gave, take he, books from... Yeah, he yeah. gave them to you. <laughs> he was going to take them back. Okay, but... I'm just checking you guys haven't think I've been looting shit, because I haven't. <laughs> <laughs> it's not my it's not style. <laughs> yeah, if any of you want to steal books for her, you have to do it. She doesn't take books. Oh, Lord, Which is going to become a problem because literally one of her things is being able to go and spend some time researching, but she can't do that without the books to do it. So, <laughs> so yeah, I will read the books that are in my library. Okay. So I didn't realize I had a library here, and now I feel special. Do any of the rest of you want to talk to Erwin about anything in particular? Do you want to have a discussion with him while she's doing that? Or talk to each other? I'll say to Erwin, what do you know about... Kresk. Kresk? Kresk. Kresk is one of the holiest places. Okay. Kresk. So the Abbey, would it be a good place to keep someone away from Strahd? Potentially. Um, it is difficult to say. I mean, we have a lovely temple in town here that could do very similar things. Um... Well, at least it could before we lost lost our cleric. Um, the Abbey of San Marcovia is huge. It is probably the holiest of places in Barovia. But you hear stories coming out of there. Such as? There are constantly stories about several different things. You hear... <sighs> There's certain things that you hear about the people that live there. They seem to be a little deformed. It's hard to talk 
it's difficult to say what is true, what is not true, but they don't appear to be normal looking human beings. For the most part. Hmm. <coughs> That's most likely where we're going to be going next. Kresk? Yes. yes. Make sure you take plenty to eat and drink along the way. It is um, not far, but the terrain around there is treacherous. Okay, thank you for letting us know. Um, if you would like to, that could be your time, Amara, to come back. Yay! I will come back downstairs with my nose in a book. Find anything? Oh! Um, I have no idea. Did I find anything, DM? Yes, yes, you did. If it is indeed an invisible stalker, then it there is no point trying to avoid it forever. The invisible stalker is a faultless tracker. If it has been told who to follow, it knows where they are. It knows the direction you've gone in and how far it is how far away from you at all times, as long as you two are on the same plane of existence. If it's a wind elemental, you could have just been unlucky in that it could have been, become attached to you and could have followed you for a while. However, the right. kind of attacks it did, it seems it's leaning more towards an invisible stalker. I relay that to the team. That's great. So it'll follow us forever. Fantastic. Not only that, but we've probably put the whole of this tavern at least in danger by coming back here. Well, technically it's only after one of us. Uh, well, us, specifically. So it's probably unlikely to hurt anyone else. That and it's invisible, so no one would even notice it. If we leave town now, we should be able to draw it out of town. Maybe it'll get a little lost walking around the market and buy itself a new pair of shoes. Very funny. Do you have any idea how we actually kill it, though? Uh... Carefully? Something to be able to see it would probably be nice, but I don't know how to cast see invisibility. Perhaps we could visit someone who'd have a better idea. Does this town have a magic shop? Something similar. Amara, you want to go see a book club? Oh, wait. Yeah. It's not that book club, is it? <laughs> They're the only people I know that know magic. Theron, you got me all excited. We'd be excited. And some new spells. From that book club? It's Lady Bacta. Honestly, I'd really rather not talk to Lady Bacta, if that's all right with you. Yeah, I, I think, think you guys can wait outside. <sighs> Did I learn anything about what would be able to kill it? Yeah, just attacking the shit out of it. Um, it you know that it doesn't take damage the same way as other things. It takes half damage from piercing, bludgeoning, and piercing, uh, piercing, bludgeoning, and slashing weapons that are not magical, for a start. <clears throat> Okay, well, I relay that as well and say, well, as long as your weapon is magical, you should be able to be fine. Any non-magical weapons, it'll take half as much pain and damage from than your regular, than a magic one. Just a matter of actually knowing where it is when we try to hit it. Yes, that would be useful. Wait for it outside of town then, just outside of town, so we can retreat if need be. Of course. Why wait? We know what it's after us. Oh, for fuck's sake. Twitch has fucked us over. What's the Twitch done? <laughs> well, you know how I applied for a name change because of all the legal shit going on? Yeah. Yeah. Apparently they changed the name right now, so... All of our viewers just disappeared. Oh. And we... All of our what? All of our viewers just disappeared because they're now looking at the wrong URL. Oh, fuck. Huh. Just go back to the chat and send them the new one. Oh, I'm in there. Oh my god, yes. Just refresh the page and it all disappeared. Yeah, that's really fucking weird. 
I'm assuming it's Clockwork Astro. Yeah. Yes, it is, yeah. Yeah, so if you just send that in the Twitch chat, everybody will be able to join on the new one. There's the link to the old one. <coughs> oh, so fucking annoying. Yeah. Oh well, sorry, let's continue. Um, as far as the Invisible Stalker is concerned, the other thing is you know, it is immune to poison. <coughs> Completely. It is immune to exhaustion, grappling, paralyzing, petrifying, poisoning, being prone, being restrained, and being knocked unconscious. The bar. Yep, so this is going to be a bitch to fight. And no matter what you do, it cannot be made to be visible fully. Well, we know what it's after. Why don't we set a trap? Corner it. I mean, get it in a confined space and I can burn the motherfucker. Let's face it, it's kind of what I'm good at. <sighs> One thing I'm good at. Well, I, I guess that would that would work. I could use Wall of Fire. Amara puts a little like smiley face on, like oh, and waits oh for the god. reaction. Oh my god! You've stolen all the spells I was gonna get. <laughs> Technically, I've had this one a while. I just haven't used it yet. <laughs> what a dick. Wow. Oh, but yeah, oh apparently, fantastic. our viewers can still hear us if they're still on the thing. They just can't use oh. the chat. So they can't use the Yay! chat, but they can still, they're still watching. That's so oh, weird. Thank okay. you, Twitch, for doing that right in the middle of a goddamn stream. <clears throat> Sorry. <laughs> I'm not bitter. <laughs> so... It's twitch.tu forward slash clockwork SJ. Yeah. Yeah. Lol. I'm go chat to these people. <laughs> but they, they won't be able to see the chat. The chat is fucked up for them at the moment. I think we'd have to start a whole new stream to do that, but we're going to leave that for now. So. Uh, but yeah. Uh, they, can that next week. <laughs> yeah they can still hear us, and I'll, I'll have it sorted before Wednesday when. Can they still see us? Yeah, yeah, no, they we'll can still. Laugh, they can hear us and see us, yeah. Just so, oh wow, so you've annoying. lost your profile picture and everything. Yeah. I sent them to warn you. <laughs> Amazing that people. That sucks. I typed hi in the chat. Ah, <sighs> joys. Anyway, sorry, yeah, we'll, we'll keep going for a little bit. Sadness. So a trap. I didn't want to set this trap. I don't know, but I mean, I don't exactly feel good pointing this out, but either myself or our bard here, or librarian here, um, one of us is going to have to be the bait. We, we can both teleport out of there. Oh no, I am not being bait. Well, considering you've got Wall of Fire, I don't particularly like volunteering and I can hardly hear anything over the screaming in the back of my head right now, but this thing is not going to stop until it kills us or we kill it. And I don't know about you guys, but I sure as hell don't want to die in this place. Oh yes, and may I remind you that if I do die in this place, I'm haunting all of you. Technically, oh. you only said if you die in this castle. And we're not in a castle anymore. I thought I said die in this place. In that case. Oh, I was very sure you said if I die in this castle. At least that's I what I interpret it as. The way you shouldn't be proud of cursing us. Do it again if I have to. <laughs> Good to know. Come on, this is this could be our only shot. Or Amara what? will be fine being bait. She's done it before. <sighs> fine, fine. I was but I'm not happy fact. about it, and you all owe me a book. Okay. But how, how are we going to trap it in? My thinking was 
potentially I could act as the bait. We could corner it. I could teleport out of there as Amara magics a wall of fire around it. Unless you're happy with doing both at the same time, in which case, go for it! I mean, I'm not the sacrifice myself kind of person. No, if I don't have to, I'm not going to. And let's face it, you, you wouldn't miss me at all. So, where are we doing this? <laughs> Ow. Ouch. <laughs> Lenara sort of like puts a hand to her chest in a fake, like, oh my heart. <laughs> Again, just out of town, I guess. Try to find somewhere that's got a good area we can back up against, I guess. A little clearing in a forest or something. But a clearing, it could come at us from any direction. Probably here it is it comes, at least. Perhaps, um, a bridge? A bridge might be good. But if you take down a bridge, that's going to be a problem. True. You suddenly hear a scream and a massive clutter from downstairs. Well... <laughs> time to go? Yes, time to go, I think. Yes. <clears throat> Owen dashes out of the room. And is gone pretty much before any of you can make a a move in any way, shape, or form. Um, can we move us over here? So Erwin has like rushed out the door. You can see him. Oh, you can't see him. I haven't moved. Why is that not refreshing? Can you guys see the new map? Um, uh, so his connection to the server has been interrupted. Yeah. Um, so refreshing to see if Yeah, that refresh helps. the page perhaps? That's really annoying. That's really annoying. Um, now it seems to be working. I see peoples. Hooray! Oh, my, my screen for viewers, though. For some reason, it still sees the hub. I it took a while for it to load into me. Yeah, I can just oh. see. Yeah, I see the pub. We're on the ground floor of the pub. What do you see? Yes. Yeah, yeah. Everything. I see the top floor and the bottom floor. We're on the bottom floor. Oh, you're I'm in the pub still, though. Yeah. Piss. We're not supposed to be in the pub. You are indeed, but you're in a bedroom. And you're supposed to be on this map. Oh, now I see a big cave. What the fuck is that thing? That thing's Erwin. Where on earth did we go? Right. Erwin does not Let me say pretty. this again. You are in the bedroom. This is just a map to represent the bedroom as you're about to be attacked. Erwin okay. Erwin has rushed out the door. But beyond that, you're all still stood in the bedroom. Well, Mara, if you can conjure a wall of fire now, would be a very good time to do I'm so. I'm not conjuring a wall of fire in this pub. Oh Damn. shit, yes, it's not still. <laughs> Erwin, don't try to fight it, just run, let it come. Oh, he's gone. Like, I've already put him on the edge of the map, but he's gone. Okay. Did we hear shit going down? Like, is it There was screaming, crunching, crashing. Erwin ran out of the door. Now there seems to be silence. Okay, I'm going to run to here and just stand here. Um, I will hold my action until I get attacked. Oh, shit. I believe you'll get smacked twice with that. <laughs> yes, I will. You take eight damage and are knocked prone. We're well, not prone. My bad. Back five feet. Back five feet. For each time? I'm gonna zoom out this map a little bit. Uh, yes, for each for each hit. <clears throat> uh, 
The next thing you see is Erwin gets slammed into the room. And he crashes into you, Theron. He's looking oh, shit. pretty badly beaten. I thought he wasn't supposed to attack anyone but us. Where did you get that information? One said that. <laughs> she just assumed. Uh. Because, you know, it's stalking us. <laughs> Thanks for the assumption, Amara. I would have... Doesn't make sense. Roll me initiatives, please. Yay! Damn it! <laughs> I'm dead. I think we're without Ray. Yeah. No. I've been for most of the night. Yeah, sadly her internet's not playing ball tonight. Hmm. <laughs> Hmm. Okay, Theron, Owen has just crashed into you. How do you react? I catch him, lower him to the ground. Back up. Okay, as you do that, he is smacked violently into the wall and falls unconscious. Fuck. Blood trickling from a corner of his mouth. Um, it is Amara's turn. <sighs> okay, well, she doesn't particularly want to. Sorry, guys, you you were still for too long. Uh, no, Bye. Her new plan. She doesn't want to burn down this pub. She doesn't want to burn down anything, and she certainly doesn't want anyone here to die. So, where does she think it is? Howdy. Oh, is that a question for me? Yep. It's up to you where you think it is. You've just seen Erwin go flying into the room and then go flying off to the left. That's the only judgment you have. I have a question. Do you think it would be willing? Probably not. I don't know, it's trying to kill me. I doubt it would not want to go without me. Willing what? I don't know what you mean. Oh, willing to be Dimension Dored. Yeah. Is it willing to be Dimension Dored? No. Hmm, that's a shame. Because on... Although one would definitely wants to come for someone in this group, how do you know it's you? Because it's hit me once already. Oh yeah, it has. It's hit several members of the group. It's also hit Erwin. It's hit everyone downstairs. Oh, you don't know that bit yet. <laughs> why, why would it hit me if it's not after? <sighs> okay, well, that's just one weird. of us. We're all together. It, it, it's and if it's coming, okay. more than any other if person. Yeah, because you cast spells times. on it. And also, you are part of a group. It may be after all of you, it may be after one of you, but it wouldn't be willing to be teleported away by one of you when there's three of you here. On a balance, that's three versus one. It's probably more like you want to stay here than come with fine. you. Fine, I'll skip, I'll skip that one and I'll find something else to do. Um, the only thing she can do, she's going to try and enthrall it. Okay. No, oh, that's a bad move. No, she's not going to enthrall it. Okay. She's going to try and use hypnotic pattern. Okay. You forced my hand on this, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Roll me a wisdom saving throw, please. Where are you doing it? Like, if it's just thrown him in the room, right? Mm -hmm. It's also then, so you assume it's knocked him over. Okay, so what's the width on that? What's the size on it? It is a 30 foot by 30 foot, like, Square? within range cube. Okay, so 30 foot. So essentially, I'm casting it sort of. You won't be able to in pass this... it through the wall. Well, there's a doorway there, is there not? Yeah, but doesn't it need to be a cube? Yeah, but it's not a material cube. Okay. So you're casting it to not include Theron, I take it? Yeah. Like there? Yep. Okay. And it's a wizard? I create... Yep. And what's For the... any creature who sees it. Any creature in the area who sees it makes like, a wisdom saving throw. What's the effect it has? Do you see it? Um, 
While charmed by this spell, the creature is incapacitated and has a speed of zero. And they become charmed for the duration. So it's a charm effect. Okay. And what's the DC? 21. Does not make it. It doesn't make it? Nope. If it's in that square, then it wouldn't make it. Okay. Okay. Let's do this cautiously. She says, and approaches the edge of wherever the square was. I mean, the square still is there, isn't it? Doesn't it last for like a minute? Uh, no, it appears for a moment and then vanishes. The effect lasts for up to a minute. Okay. Uh, then it is Theron's go. Okay, whatever you did, I don't really care. I'm gonna try to hear its heartbeat. Okay. You've seen the spell before. You know what it does. Yeah, I know what it does. Yeah. Oh, he does. No, no, no. Yeah. I'm talking to Theron. He should do. And he knows I told him not to hit the gargoyles last time. Yep. can hear a faint heartbeat. Where are we at? It's coming from somewhere. You can't narrow it down to the exact square, but it'll be somewhere around here. I think you might have gotten it. It's definitely there-ish. Okay, I'm gonna take a step here. What you gotta do, mage? I'm gonna hold my action. If anything tries to move past me or attack me, I am unloading the fuck out of it. My full attack. Essentially. Potentially. Where are you? Where, um, sorry, you're, you're attacking it. No, no, I'm holding my action. Just my full attack action I'm holding for if it moves past me or if it attacks me. Okay. Lenara, it's your go. I'm going to cast Mirror Image on myself. That's a good spell. I like this spell. Uh, there are now four of me. Oh, is it an automatic four? You don't have to roll for it? That's awesome. Uh, no, um, just as three illusory duplicates of yourself appear in your space. Uh, basically, every time it makes anything makes an attack on me, um, I roll a d20 to determine whether the attack in said targets one of my duplicates. Um, no, yeah, that's fair. If I have three duplicates, I must roll a six or higher to change the attack's target. Oh, that's brilliant. So basically, when in, it attacks me, I can deflect it. In so. 3.5 and Pathfinder, it ha it doesn't let you... It, you have to roll to see how many duplicates it makes. That's, that's pretty cool. Yeah. yeah. Except one hit will kill a duplicate. That's the only thing. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I uh, gave Anshin no jutsu. No, awesome. Okay. Um, cool. That goes back round to Amara's turn. Well, essentially, we use this time to find out where it is and figure the plan. The plan is blow the shit out of it. Great. Brilliant plan. Let's try and do that without blowing the shit out of the pub. Have we got any alcohol in here? <laughs> I turn to look at Ray. <laughs> As does Lenara. <laughs> Ray looks very begrudgingly and looks down. She kind of clutches her knapsack a little bit and then kind of holds out a bottle of wine. <laughs> oh, she looks very I can't sad. Get there. I can't get there and back. <laughs> Oh, uh, she, is it? I suppose she would have had a go. She can move over near you guys if you want. Okay. Yay. I say, essentially, we find out where it is, douse it in alcohol, and set it on fire. Then it'll be a burning mass, and we should be able to see it. Right? Can you roll me <laughs> intelligence, please? <laughs> this is this is the DM's way of saying no. Did oh, my fireball saw... hit it back in the forest? Amara. You saw what happened when you threw yep. ink on it. When you threw ink on it, the ink was almost 
blown off of it. Um, oh, come on, dude. Things, okay, all right, yeah. The fire seemed to kind of shroud it, definitely, but it is a, it is a moving mass of wind, basically. It is not a stationary being. It has no physical form other than gusts of wind when it requires an attack, basically. How does it hit us? Other okay. than when it requires to attack, which is what <laughs> I literally just said. Okay. Not really sure what to do with it, then. There now listen to for the heartbeat again. Try to no see if it is right in front of me. It's unkillable. It's easily killable. You just need to hit the fucking thing. Sorry. You can't hit the wind bag. <laughs> you can. You've hit it before. You've got ink on it. We need you to find it, the, the ink absolutely hit it and then it pushed it off. It's made of wind so things don't stick to it. That's all. Fine. Then she says she needs to find it. And since it's her turn, she's going to look for it. Okay. She does not see it. Great. Theron. Me listening for the heartbeat with the 21. It is in one of the three squares in front of you. It's either in front of Amara, in front of you, or in front of the one diagonal down from you. Did you take into account like sight, sound, everything when I said I was looking for it? Yes. It's 100% okay. invisible and doesn't make any sound apart from the faint heartbeat you all heard earlier. And I can't detect it from the heartbeat. Okay. No, not with a 14. Okay. If my blades cut anything, just unleash on it. And I'm just going to do my full attack range right on the square in front of me. Okay. No, actually, I'll do one attack in front of me. Go for it. Roll me to hit. That hits. Ten. Roll me some damage. Okay. Your blade definitely... Like your blade kind of... It's... Imagine being hit by a gust of air. You definitely feel like you've connected with something. And then it's been kind of buffeted back. Your blades are magical, aren't they? Both of them. Uh. Yeah, yeah, of course they are. One's a sun sword. Then, yeah, you, you connect with something. You can feel it separating, but you can't see what the hell it was you cut. You just kind of saw a little bit of resistance on your sword as you kind of slice down. It's right the fuck here, and I'll follow up with my other two attacks. Go for it. It's critical. Does the 16 hit? The 16 also hits. Roll me the critical first, please. Yeah, sword damage. Ten times two. No, fourteen plus three. Seventeen. Seventeen. One damage seven eight. Seventeen plus sixteen. Take away seventeen. Take away sixteen. There's a there's a faint moan in the air, and Theron, something moves inside your bag. Go into my bag. No, it's your turn. Uh. Okay. Um, can I see where the thing is? Uh, you could see he was attacking directly in front of him and it seemed to be connecting with something. In that case, I would like to cast on that spot Chill Touch. Chill Touch. Oh, wait, no, that's. Damn it, damn it, damn it. That was the wrong roll. Um, sorry, my eyes are going really funny. I'm so glad to see here. What Spell attack. That, that was hit. the attack roll. That'll hit. Was and it 2 the damage? The, it was, yeah. <laughs> roll the damage before the attack. Okay, your skeletal hand appears from the ground as per usual, lifts up. Kind of, no, normally you see it go over and grab onto the shoulder or head of the creature. It kind of passes yeah. straight down and back through the floor. It doesn't grip onto anything. Hmm. Okay, so it's not there. Um. Yeah, that's my goal. Amara. Yeah? Your turn. Uh... Okay, well, what was that thing where you disengage? Because there's no way I'm standing here. You disengage. Okay, well, I disengage. You can move and... your you can move your full normal movement without it doing anything bad. And then I can't do anything afterwards. Yes. Uh. 
Then yeah, I just disengage and move backwards. Okay, okay. There, you go. Hey, do I feel like I know where it is right now? I mean, you know, we just hit. It doesn't. Well, yeah, I'll just try to hit in the same place first. Team. Doesn't seem to hit anything. Fuck. And so I suppose I'll try to listen for the heartbeat again. In. You can't hear its heartbeat. You can only hear five heartbeats, and one of them's quite slow. Okay. I reach into my bag and pull out whatever was moving. The thing that was moving is still kind of moving slightly. Is it Dirt and Groom? It is the Groom statuette that you picked up off the floor back in Strahd's mansion. Um. Amara and Linara, you see Theron reach into his bag and pull out the small statuette that you were told not to touch back in the mansion. Th Theron! Theron! Guys, uh, just. Get over here and tell me what the fuck this thing's doing. Probably Ooh. wants it back. Have it back if it wants it back. Why did you take it in the first place? place? I what don't know. <laughs> felt Amara like I needed kind of looks it. over at Lenar for like, the fuck? <laughs> did we just agree? <laughs> <laughs> well, put it down. Right this instant, Theron. Oh shit. Does that affect what I was going to do? I don't know. What were you going to do? I was just going to toss it on the ground in front of me. As you throw it down, writing seems to appear across its chest in very faint, delicate silver writing. Ooh, which says? It's too small to see from on the floor. Okay. I get real close to it and look at it. One word. Sergey. Sergey. Guys, who's Sergey? Sergey was Strah's brother. Thought so. This was definitely his wedding topper. That means that Strahd wasn't going to marry... Didn't the other one look like... I'd pull out the other one. The white... <laughs> <bride. laughs> <laughs> Theron pulls oh, out the female <laughs> topper of the cake. Yeah. All four Lenaras step forward. <laughs> <laughs> Theron, the other one looks a lot like the... It looks very similar to Irina, and also the portrait of Tatiana. Yeah. Strahd wasn't supposed to marry her. His brother was. I didn't think that cake topper looked like Strahd. The invisible thing still in the room. Dunno. Can't hear its heartbeat. Theron couldn't hear it. He doesn't seem to be worried anymore. Is it gone? I'm asking Theron. <laughs> can't hear it at least and either way I point at the broom thing this thing seems to be reacting study it mages do your thing I don't think I want to do quite anything with you if you are going to be a common thief quite honestly you probably deserve this well, it helped us investigate a mystery didn't it Strahd wanted to steal Arena's original ancestor or soul ancestor or whatever she was from his brother possibly killed his brother. It doesn't help us with the fact that we're trying to be murdered right now. Please study that it. That does not mean and you should be 
Oh, the last so time, good. the last time you wasted time, a bunch of people died possibly downstairs. Would you please study this thing? The fallen auras. Step forward. <laughs> roll an arcana. <laughs> I'm probably talking in unison as well. This is really weird. <laughs> oh, that was my arcana. Oh. Okay. Yeah. Um, it's my only good roll of the night. <laughs> are you investigating the groom? Yes. Okay, as far as you can tell, there is nothing magical about it. It seemed to be more... The reaction that it had was something to do with the invisible stalker. In that case, can I look round and... Just sort of shout to the air, or fallen auras. <laughs> Are you Sergey? There is no response. Can we hold a seance? Oh my goodness, you actually want to talk to the. Oh my god. Well, if Strahd killed Sergey, then it's hardly best friends with him, is he? To be honest, if it's trying to kill us, it's probably because Theron stole some things. Exactly! Would not be a bad ghost. Not to be a bad ghost. You know, I've heard it all. You do realize ghosts are the souls of dead people, basically. The angry ones! Angry souls of dead people, yes. I'd be fucking angry if I was dead. Oh, have you guys found anything useful on this thing? It's not magical. I'm not looking. Not magical. No, whatever its reaction was, it was probably due to the presence of whatever it is here. So I think it's safe to assume that you removing it from the castle is why it's been stalking us. Hey. But what do we do with it now? You're the one who took it. You fix this. I agree with her for once. Okay. Find a u less useless mage. I'm going to pick up the thing and put it in my bag. Oh, not going to rise to that. Not going to rise to that. <laughs> Theron, put yes. the things down if you are not I... planning to return them. Already following us. I'm going to go take it to Lady Vakta. Why? It was your obsession with that crazy, evil lady. She's a better mage than either of you two. Put the damn him. things down, Theron. Like, I'm serious, I want to punch him. Go for it. If you want to, go ahead and roll. What do I roll for that? Uh, unarmed <laughs> attack. <laughs> Just a straight... Okay, I'm going to have to figure out what that is, because... Do you have oh, a normal no, attack on your thing? It should be on your thing, yeah. I do, but it might be old. I'm not sure if my stats are up to date. Theron, that, that does not hit you, I believe. Nope. Oh. She goes to punch him, and Theron kind of dodges to the side. The punch swings through the air, but I think Theron's a bit surprised that she's doing that. She did it. Guessing that was the other one. Actually, it was probably just Maybe her. The idea. I acted on it. Her. Do you realise how many people in this building could be dead because of you? Quite a few, which is why I want to solve the problem rather than just dropping it on the ground and walking away again. That would solve the problem! If you just let the invisible thing take the things you took from it, it could then go home. Okay. Problem solved. I'll drop them both on the ground. I'm gonna go over to this guy. Check how he's doing. Well, he's rolled two failing death throws and two succeeding death throws. Can I use my healing kit on him? You can. Bring him back from the dead. You stabilize him. He's still unconscious, but he's not dying any longer. Oh. I'm really glad you said that, because I was literally... I'd already typed in forward slash roll d20. And if <laughs> that could have been one way or another... Wait. 
Did, did the dolls go anywhere? No. He lay there on the floor. Yeah, uh, lift him up and take him to the bed wherever it is in the room. And just lay him down. Okie dokie. We will stop there for the evening, I think. Cool. There have been tons of technical difficulties, which are really annoying. But, yeah. You, um... You managed to defeat the Invisible Stalker. It is dead. Oh. <laughs> so it's not going to <sighs> Why are you sighing? That's a good thing. This is just how we lost Wonder. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> That's awkward. <laughs> but hopefully Ray will be back up and running this this time next week when we come back to Curse of Strahd. Um Yeah. We'll pick it up. I'll say you guys can have a short rest and we'll pick up after a short rest next week. Um because, yeah, not a lot of time has passed since you got here. Um, it'll be interesting for you guys to see what's happened downstairs. I don't want to know what's happened downstairs. <laughs> and, um, yeah. Hopefully oh, find out... Yes. We find out a little bit about what's just what's happened with the Invisible Stalker and where it came from. Um, Theron, you have Owen on the bed, <laughs> stable. He will need healing properly, but he's not dying anymore. Um... And yeah, we'll stop it there. <laughs> Ew. But you guys have a proper direction to go next week, I think. Yeah. After some potential investigation. And I say something. Yeah. I almost kicked Theron in the nuts and I'm having regret right now. <laughs> 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 Sorry. <laughs> I just had to get that out. No regrets. That's fair enough. If it makes you guys feel better, he was completely charmed when he picked that up. Oh yeah, he was. It well, doesn't make did us feel animals. better, but it's okay. <laughs> and obviously you guys don't know that yet, that's OC knowledge. But yeah, he, he didn't choose to pick it up. He wanted not to, but he was forced to. Hence the whole, I don't know why I picked it up. Yeah, he just sounds like an idiot, but he's not lying. <laughs> sounds like a kleptomaniac. <laughs> <laughs> I don't he's, know, it just leapt into my bag. He's avoided stealing things before this, though. Mm. So far, I'm sitting around here with a cannibal, a murderer, and a thief. Very angry blood hunter who's getting very pissed off with all of this shit. Alright. Is the. Are we still streaming? But I'm happy to stop it. <laughs> I will stop the stream then. Um, I was just waiting to see if they guess that they said anything else interesting. Anyone who's still viewing. Um, in that case, we'll be back at eight o'clock again next Monday. Um, obviously, I'll be streaming gaming on Wednesday. Um, Wednesday is kind of the wacky day. No one knows what I'm going to play. It's going to be different every week. Thursday is going to be Throwback Thursday, so that's retro games, and I'll be. Picking up Zelda where I left off after it deleted my entire fucking save file. Um, oh no. Yeah, that was my own fault, but it was really heartbreaking. <laughs> um, I've also got the new Gwent beta to play through. Um, yeah. And then Friday's kind of the casual day. But it'll be really casual on an early night because we've got, an, we've got a, an overnight gaming experience on Saturday with our LARP group. Yay. <laughs> Will be fine. Mm. So, um, that is a good night from me. Good night, everybody. Clockwork SJ signing off. Later.